Hi guys. <laughs> I love it's a Hans Post again. It features prominently on this channel. Um, I was gonna throw this one away, I'm glad I didn't. Uh, page 13. Not that that matters. It is this week's, or last week's. This week's. I think. Um, Reoffending targeted with a new approach. Now, Cambridge Police have apparently worked out that um, going through the court system can have a detrimental effect on people and encourage them to reoffend. Um, they've sort of got a new approach to tackle reoffending. That will see some low level crimes dealt with before they go through the court system. Following what the police describe as early success in Peterborough in a pilot trial, so they're already doing this, bear that in mind. Um, the new approach will now be rolled out across the country in a bid to combat reoffending by criminals. You didn't do that with me, Cambridge Police. Couldn't wait to get me in court. Come around my house five, six, seven, eight, nine times, ten times. Knocking on the door all hours, five of you, cars, vans. There's nothing about not going to court. In fact, the last time you interviewed me, you'd already decided in an interview that I was going to be charged. That's not adding up, is it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, seriously. That. I love these little nuggets that the Hans Post throws out. That. I've not seen any evidence of it. In fact, he once gave me an arrest number when I hadn't been arrested, although, according to Inspector Paul Rogerson, uh, stepping into a marked police vehicle while in the presence of three uniformed officers, everything had been done to inform me as, as much as possible that I was under arrest. Except that he didn't say it. But then you never bother with arrest warrants either anymore, do you? You just turn up and demand that people attend voluntary interviews. Otherwise, you march into the house and try and beat them up, like you did with me. Seriously, I'm not kidding. It's just... I mean, we've got officers lying in witness statements. We've got other witnesses lying about stuff. Um, which again, I can't say too much because there's, there's people I'm not allowed to mention. Um, you're arresting people, giving people arrest numbers without arresting them. You're getting them to sign bail forms after a voluntary interview. You're not understanding that people don't understand their rights. You're not identifying yourself. You're not identifying the people you're talking to properly. If I were you, I'd look a little more on the side of actual proper policing rather than new strategies. It, it's quite incredible, isn't it? Quite incredible. I can't believe that. I'm going to have to read the other week's one now as well, which I haven't got for <laughs> Just in case. Oh my god. Oh well, um DCI Dominic Human 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 actually. DCI Dominic Human. Well, there's a contradiction in terms. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid to say your officers have made an arse of you because they follow no proper procedures whatsoever. And that's just my personal experience. Um, and I'm sure a vast amount of the quantity on my channel will confirm that. Like when the police crime commissioner threatened to arrest me with the special powers of arrest he didn't have. And then when I found out uh, he wouldn't talk to me, <coughs> his office went quiet. <laughs> Just when you think it can't get any more ludicrous. <laughs> I'll see you later, guys.